everybody. I want to show you how to do a mandala <coughs> redistribution of color. So what we're doing is taking a pattern, which I've sent you in the announcements, and we're going to fill it with the colors from this painting. And the two things we want to pay attention to are the size of a color, whether there's a little bit of it or a lot of it. And we want to pay attention to the relationships of colors to each other, whether a color is near another color or whether they never touch, like the background sky color never touches this green in here, so we don't ever want them to actually bump into each other if at all possible. Um, so we're watching relationships and the size of colors to one another. What we want to do is start with any pattern. I, like I said, I sent you one, but you can pick one out um, forever, from whatever source you find. And the first thing we want to do is create a layer for our colors, so hit Shift, Command, N. It will ask for a new layer and say OK. There you are. Now what you want to do is you want to choose an area of the mandala uh, to select. What I'm going to do is use the magic wand up here. So I could hit W and then just click along. If I click a shape, you'll see that it adds it to the thing. But if I hold shift down, I can continue to collect shapes. I can go around and hold shift down while I click, 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 click. And I've got all those shapes selected. Now what I want to do is go to the top of the screen, take your selection up here, and go select, um, grow. You want to grow it, and just a little bit, it'll grow it out. Nope, undo that, I'm sorry. We want to go um, modify, there we go. And we want to expand it a little bit. So modify, expand. We want to expand it a couple pixels. I'm going to expand it two pixels, see what that does. It's not bad, that takes it out a bit. I might undo that because it looked a little too far for me. Modify, expand, and this time we'll just go one pixel. The reason I'm doing this is I want to make sure I'm overlapping these black lines in here. Now what I can do is grab a color. If I hit the letter I, you'll notice my little cursor right here. Look at the cursor. If I hit I, it turns to the eyedropper. So I can go into the painting and just grab a, a color. And you can see on the right that it chose that color over here. And then I could do Control-Alt-Delete or Control-Option-Delete, and it'll fill all those colors in. Now what I could do if I was nervous about reselecting that again and thought it was a pain in the butt, I could go selection, go save selection down here, and I could call that tan petals and say OK. And now I have that selection. So now I can hit command D to deselect. Um, you can also do that under selection, deselect right there, um, if you forget command D. Now what I could do is go back to W, which is my wonder wand. See the little star? And I can go clicking around again. I can go click, hold shift down, the shift key while I click. Click all over the place. Boom, bitty, boom, bitty, boom, bitty, boom, bitty, boom. I can enlarge that selection by one pixel, modify. So expand, one pixel, OK. And then what's next to that tan color might be one of these golden colors. So I hit I for my eyedropper again. Hit the tan color and say control option delete or control alt delete. Now I can either save that selection again or not. I'm not going to save it because it's easy enough for me and then I can see what's happening. It's filling in these colors and it's avoiding any black between them. All right. So I'm keeping the black out. And what you can see in this case, I showed you this in class last week, but you can see people who finished this project. Here's one solution and here's another solution. You'll notice in here that there's a gradient on these. It goes from one color to another. If you're not familiar with gradients, don't worry about it. If you are, you can use them. It's harder to do this project without using gradients, much easier to use gradients. So that's your decision. Um, I made one big mistake. <laughs> I just looked down and saw it. So right over here you'll notice that I put all my colors on the actual black and white mandala. It'd be preferable to put them on this layer, so what you would do, I'll take you into it again, is you need to select the colors in this mandala layer. So if we again go Wonder Wand, and we just select a couple of these, hold down Shift, select, 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 and now in this case I want to fill them on this layer, color 3, so what I could do is select that red maybe, go to I, grab that red, and say Control alt delete and I make sure that I'm in that third layer up there just by itself, Control alt delete and it fills those colors in. I could have again changed the selection by going up here and modifying and expanding, but don't worry about that. I can deselect those for the moment. You can see now if I turn this off, it takes that off. But the good thing is if I turn off the mandala, I still have this in the background all my shapes. What you might want to do is create another layer. Shift, Command, N, create another layer, put it behind your mandala, so when you turn it off, what I can do is go 
put my white over here I went, picked white, and go control alt delete again, it fills the background. So while I'm looking at these shapes and I'm patterning them, I could have a background color, whatever I want. I mean, in this case, I might choose a color from the painting. Uh, so if I go back to the painting for a second, turn it back on and say I, choose a color from the painting, go back into here and say control alt delete. And there you go. It gives me the background color and gives me a sense of what's going on. When I turn that off, I can actually see what's underneath and what I'm doing. Uh, I could put this, I guess, under my mandala as well and erase all the white, but we're not going to do that. And I think that gives you a sense of what you're doing. Uh, you'll try several versions of this. Maybe, I would say, maybe two or three if you're doing it digitally, uh, as well as in paint. And then you'll have your final version where you're most happy with the distribution, and we'll look at these in class together. Thank you so very much, and enjoy your night. Bye-bye.